Today we're going to install this under sink water filtration system. I got all my helpers here today. And we're vacuuming up a little bit of dog hair. All right, this should be an easy project, but like most projects, I'm sure it'll take a turn for the worst at some point. It's basically a two hose connection and it's only on the cold side of the faucet. Get this all cleaned out. Make sure we get some tools and we'll get started. All right, here's the kit. We've got the filter. This mounts to the cabinet wall. We've got your goes into hose and we've got your goes out of hose. So the water goes into this one and comes out of that one. Looks like it's got some Teflon tape, a bushing, a couple of mounting screws and a template. These are the tools I got out, but I'm not sure I'm going to need all of these or some of these or maybe more, more of these. This is what we're starting with. I've got the water shut off in the basement. The main line coming into the house is off. I'm going to turn off my cold water. So now all the water's off. I'll drain the pressure off the faucet. Okay, this is the filter and it hangs on the wall. It's got a couple of mounting holes here. And in order to change the filter, it's a quarter turn to change the filter. So I've got to mount it to something that's somewhat sturdy. And uh, I think I'm just going to mount it to the side of the cabinet. Got all my helpers here. Um, we've got to make sure where we're mounting it is sturdy and yet we can still get to it. And the hoses are long enough to reach. So I'm thinking that right there is a pretty good spot. Template. And I'm just going to stick it right there. It looks somewhat level. It's going to go there just like that. Looks like it's fairly easy to change. Okay, once you got your hoses on, go ahead and clip that up there. And that is all that's required to mount this thing. Now we gotta run the hoses. Alright, once that's mounted, Honestly. Once you get the filter mounted. You can go ahead and loosen up your cold water. Make sure you got your water off. Make sure you turn the valve off. I've got this valve off and I've got the one in the basement turned off just because. Set that hose aside for later. Now we need to we need the gozinta hose for the filter. And we need to hook that gozinta hose right here. We're definitely a fat guy in a little coat situation here. Go ahead and snug this up with a wrench. Anytime you're working with plumbing, just get it tight. You don't necessarily have to flex your muscles. The wrench I'm using is a little bit big for this job. You could get by with a little stubby crescent wrench. This one's a 12 inch. Okay, once you got your supply line hooked up, now you can take this hose that goes up to the faucet and you can connect that to the goes out a hose so the water goes into the filter on that hose goes through the filter and comes out of this hose you just got to hook these two hoses together the kit comes with some teflon tape so i'm just going to put a little bit of teflon tape on these threads can go ahead and 
screw these together. When you tighten this connection up, you're going to want to use two wrenches. One to tighten, and one as a backup wrench, so you can get it tight. Okay, went downstairs, turned the water back on. I'm going to go ahead and turn this valve on. probably can't hear it, but the filter is filling up with water. So far, no leaks. All right, according to the instructions, we got to purge it for five minutes. A little air out of that system. Okay, there it is in all its glory. <laughs> it robs a ton of pressure though. Looks like I gotta come up with a plan B. All right, let's talk about what just happened. <laughs> Total failure. Um, I, I thought this might be a possibility when I bought this. Um, our town provides water to us and our street pressure is only about 40 to 45 pounds. Most everybody else on my street has a booster pump in their basement. We do not because our showers, our sink, um, toilets, washing machine, everything works fine without a booster pump. And I don't necessarily want to add one, but it looks like maybe I've got to at least start considering that. So the reason why we lost all that pressure is because of this. This supply hose is only a quarter of an inch, and my house is plumbed with half-inch copper. So we went from half-inch copper feeding the kitchen sink down to quarter inch, and then we ran it through a filter, which robbed more pressure. So, like I said, I knew this was a possibility. I figured we'd see a reduction in pressure, but I was hoping that it would be livable, something that we could put up with, something that wasn't too bad, something that you know, was, was okay. And it turns out it wasn't. So some days you're the bug, some days you're the windshield, but either way, this is a total fail. So thanks for watching.